This program is proudly brought to you by Inglis, Australia's leading thoroughbred auctioneer. Buy success, buy Inglis. Well, we are in Melbourne at the Inglis Premier Sale and it's a, a real treat to have a chat with Mark Webster, the CEO of Inglis. And it's quite timely that we're having a chinwag because the second horse ever gone for over a million dollars here in Melbourne. Yeah, that's right. Look, the, we, we sold a, a yearling for just over a million a couple of years ago. Uh, but we weren't expecting to do that this year. 1.1 million early in the sale, lot 70, a red and tycoon colt. The, the stallion's doing a great job out of a young fast net rock mare. So, you know, great result for Blue Gun Farm, bought by James Harron, who's been a you know fantastic buyer of colts over the years. He bought Capitalist. Now he's gone and bought another written tycoon, uh, same same bloodlines. Well, racing dreams did come true for, for James with Capitalist, of course. And uh, look, we're going to have a chat with him over the next couple of days. Everyone talks to Black Caviar coming from this say, Ole Kirk, of course, more contemporary. Yeah, that's right. We're here in the Black Caviar bar and she hasn't been superseded yet. I don't think she ever will. 25 wins out of 25 starts. But uh, yeah, of course, Ole Kirk came out of this sale two years ago. He's won two group ones. He'll go off to stud now. And yesterday, you know, we saw more, uh, more Premier graduates getting out and winning, you know, even with the Guineas. Uh, Ole Kirk was knocked over by another you know, Melbourne graduate, so uh, with Luna Fox. So look, they just keep coming. This is a sale of opportunity down here in, in Victoria. I know that uh, nimble and pivot and all those words have been used a lot, but they've been used a lot because we've all had to do it. And you and your team have had to think very, very seriously about how do we piece this all together. And when I drove in today, temperature tested, your Q code in, everything done. Uh, but it's just working like clockwork. Yeah, look, we work well with government as well, you know, we're very well uh, engaged with them in the right processes. Uh, we're lucky here with the setup. There's one entry in, we can COVID check everyone, temperature tests, they check in. Um, and we've got a lot of outdoor space so people can spread out. We're a little bit limited inside, but outside we've got plenty of capacity and beautiful weather here in Melbourne and, you know, sale that's going well. How'd the classic sale end up? Last time you and I chatted, we were in Sydney at Warwick Farm. Yeah, that's right. Look, the classic sale was an absolute ripper. It just shows how strong the, uh, the market is. People love racing at the moment. It's the one thing that really continued right through COVID, Tim, as you know. And it, you know, we, we ended up with a 93% clearance. I mean, that's just unheard of. You know, a record average over 100,000. That's our third level sale. This is our second level sale, averaging 150. And then we've got Easter in a couple of weeks, which typically averages over 300. So that's looking good too. Which is the ultimate party. <laughs> and just quickly, Racing Dreams does start, of course, Inglis. Great to have you on board as a sponsor. Um, and, and there's a great few days left here and a great autumn ahead. Yeah, there is. So people want to get involved. You know, if they can't get to the sale, that's one thing. But reach out to some of the trainers and syndicators that are buying horses here and, and get involved. Just a small little share in a horse can be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Mark Webster, great, great to have a chat. And uh, racing dreams, they do come true. This program is proudly brought to you by Inglis, Australia's leading thoroughbred auctioneer. Buy success, buy Inglis.